Hi, this is the 1000 Scenes Project. I'm Morgan, and improviser number 951 of 1000 is Pete Bergen. Hey, Pete. Morgan, how are you? Doing well. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's going to be fun. Of course. Absolutely. Our randomly generated suggestion is charge, C-H-A-R-G-E, charge. <laughs> They said the battle was going to start at five. I got myself all worked up, and now it's like delay after delay. You know what? Can I tell you something? Anything, of course. You know, you know that. You always look so good at the battles. Thank you. I just I feel like if you're going to die or potentially die, and someone's going to find you know your corpse, then why not make it? You know, like have have them think. Well, that soldier really knew what he was doing yeah know? and i just together. woke up late and i just threw on this old thing and i feel like you're even accessorized and i i think that that is the the earring that terry gave you that uh, that's uh, you have sh sharp eyes which should serve you well in the battle um these are yeah this is the earring that terry gave me you can i i've been meaning to tell you this through the entire war well it looks like you, you have time go ahead yeah uh Get it start. Get it started, people. I've been me. I've been wanting to tell you this for a long time. And it's just you know things come up, you know battles and injuries and you know death and. Uh, but this is important. You tend to underestimate how well you're dressed because you do you so well, <laughs> and I wouldn't change a thing. Thank you. Honestly. <laughs> Why do we wait until? I mean, if this battle would have started on time, we would have never had this conversation. Oh, we would have that, never, I, 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 I mean, you wouldn't know how much I appreciate your earrings. And I, I mean, you know I feel like a schlub every time I'm out here. And I, it, it hurts me to, th to think that you think that because you, I, honestly, some of the other guys have been talking and like, if there was a best dressed award, obviously there Don't. isn't because of, Don't. You know, let us do awards anymore because of the, the whole, the whole thing. The, if there was a best dressed awards and like a little awards assembly, you would you would be a contender because you you're just you're flawlessly put together. And I know that the that the military uniform code doesn't allow us that much leeway, but the, the alterations that we can make, you make to a T. So so fittingly. Um, I just eyeballed it. There are literally like twelve thousand people out here, and the fact that I'm in contention to be best dressed, uh, and that I heard it from you. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. I don't know. I'm glad it means that much. No, go ahead. Yeah. I can listen no, to I'm you just all gonna... day. Oh, well, hopefully it won't have to be all day. Hopefully we get this battle started. <laughs> right. Anytime now. <laughs> you remember back in the old days when it wasn't constant war, when people got so stressed out about war, like, oh, I'm going to battle now. It's like, I'm so glad that now in this constant state of eternal warfare that we can just take the time to really connect with each other, you know, and just really tell each other the things that matter. If this, if this war ends, okay, and we both live through it, it's <laughs> not a given. Well, if this war ends, being mean before the next one starts, and like before the next little, one starts, mm -hmm. I, think, I think me and you should go into business together. Oh, I would love that. Devin love that. and like Darius, a fashion consultants. Fashion consultancy, that'd be so great. If only, I mean, obviously there'll probably only be, you know, a couple months between wars in this mm. global political situation we're in right now. But just to dream for those couple months and really just try to get something off the, maybe we can come back to it between wars, you know? Oh, that's, something. that's the dream. That'll, that'll, that'll give us some incentive as things are getting dark <sighs> and bleak. It is. It's getting dark right now. Can we get this thing started? <laughs> I don't want to risk my life. Guys, I didn't dress up like this for nothing. This is ridiculous. Blackout. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pete. Uh, very fun. Uh, is there anything I can plug for you in the description of the video? Uh, well, I'm uh, down here in Washington, D.C. I teach for Washington Improv Theater, but I also produce a series of independent shows and workshops called Chinese Menu Comedy. Uh, you can find it under uh, Chinese Menu Comedy on Facebook, on Instagram, and uh, on the website, ChineseMenuComedy.com. We have lots of guests from New York, Chicago, and L.A. come to town to teach and play. 
the shows lend themselves to that. They're a mashup kind of all-star type show. So Morgan, next time you're in town, come out and play and anybody else uh, get in touch and we'll find you some, uh, some stage time. Oh, fantastic. Thanks. We'll definitely do that. And I'll put those links up in the video description. Uh, thank you again so much for doing that. Have a great day. Thank you day. very much. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye.